So by far the most common question I have seen in the comments since I got that Zach lift is how long does it take to pull it off and will you make a video of taking it off? And a few days ago I needed to pull it off for the first time finally. I was starting to wonder actually why I even got the detachable instead of just the permanent mount and saving a whole bunch of money on buying a low bed. But uh, a few days ago I finally did need to pull that off and pull the low bed and I filmed the whole process. And well, I thought I filmed the whole process, but when you don't press the record button, you end up just walking around the yard, talking to yourself, looking dumb. So good thing no one else was here. But today I got to pull it off again. So I'm going to film the whole thing again. Well, for the first time. And uh, you guys will see the whole thing in real time. One take from beginning to end with no cuts. So you can see what it really takes to pull this thing off. Okay, so we are 100% set up as a wrecker. Exactly as I used it last, ready to go off and go towing. So we'll hit start. Put that there to see how long it takes. Give a little bump of throttle. PTO's on. And uh, grab the gloves. Yes, the truck is a disaster because it got hammered on the last job. So first thing we're gonna do is unpin this thing. Which we do by pulling these pins out and putting just in here for now and then uh, got one more on the other side reach back behind pull that one out I guess while we're here I can take this out too now last time I did this it took me 14 minutes and uh, that was the very first time I've done it by myself since uh, I left the Zach Lift shop. We did it a few times in their shop, but I had help from people who knew what they were doing. And we were in the shop with everything all ready to go and set up and on flat ground. So uh, yeah, of course it went quick. Last time was 14 minutes, including thinking I was filming and trying to figure out what to do by myself for the first time. So we pulled those pins. We got to get rid of the frame clamps at the back, which means this bolt up here, we're going to loosen it. And as you see, it lowers that down. And then we can pull this chain out. Drop it down, go to the other side. I have an extension on this because I put these hose reels over here on this side. So I need the extension. See it lower down. Okay. We're done with this. Put that back there. Put this back here. Now, we can lower our outriggers, these two. And we're gonna pick up on the back just a little bit. Now, we'll put our legs in. And I just strapped them into this dolly here. It works really well. Now this part is not gonna be part of the final process because eventually this is going to be set up where the legs uh, stay on the truck full time. This box is going to get moved back and then when the legs can slide right in here I don't have to take them on and off which will really speed this up. This pin here. Come on. Okay. So just put down another one. Okay. Now we crank our landing gear just like you would with any trailer. And 
we gotta bring these up till we just take the weight off. Which will be probably right there. Oh, dolly. Like I said, this is only the second time I've ever done this. The first time was trying to figure all this out at the same time, so of course it took longer. I guess once I really get a process down, and then these legs are permanently stored on the truck, like where they're supposed to be, I'm betting this will be a 10 minute process. It'll probably take me longer right now because I gotta put the legs in and I'm also still like, need to come up with a routine because routine greatly speeds things up. Lay this right into that hole. Take this off, get it out of the way. Put our pin in. And we'll just slide this back. What the heck? Oh. Why won't you go in the hole? There you go. Same thing. Crank this down. And we just gotta take the weight. We're not lifting it. Okay, let's see if we're happy with our height on the back. We have a little gap in the frame there. We have a little gap in the frame there. Guess while we're here, we can pull those off. And they can come and sit here. For now so now we can go shut down the PTO so go up here PTO's dead make sure we don't have air going to the trailer or tow unit which acts like a trailer as far as the trucks concerned Come over here Make sure there's no pressure in any of our valves. Even if I wiggle those valves, this is not gonna lower because there's holding valves on here. So until there's pressure flowing it the other way, these will not collapse. Same, that boom will not gravity down by pulling the valves unless there's pressure pushing it down. It's like a safety feature. So, now we can come up here and unhook our connections just like a trailer. And then we have hydraulic under here. You won't be able to see because I got to reach. I guess if I bend down enough, you can. Okay. There's hydraulic. Oh, I guess I had to fold these up. and put uh, here. Oh, I know what I gotta do. I forgot I zip tied that. Uh, all that together. Okay. Now we can flip these up. 
can go back over here. And then we'll feed our airlines back in here. What am I hung up on? Okay, I know you can't see right now, but... What did I even do? Oh, I see. There we go. There. Is that going to be all the way enough? Okay. So, we are fully disconnected here. We've got weight there. Outriggers down. Rear flame frame thingies disconnected. That one's down. We come under here, grab our fifth wheel pin, release the fifth wheel. Then uh, we come over here and we turn on this camera so that you can see it unhook from another shot. By the way, this is like the best camera ever. DJI nailed it with this one. Hey, there we are. So, record that and we are, I believe, free to pull out from under this thing. So, yeah, everything's down and good. We get in the truck. We are dump some suspension, lower the window so we can hear crazy noises if stuff goes bad. Let our airbags drop some. And we are free of the unit, ready to go in 11 minutes and 32 seconds. So now if we come back out here, we're a fifth wheel tractor, ready to go hook onto any trailer and do anything any standard fifth wheel truck would do. This bracket stays in place at all times on the truck. It's a permanent mount. Um, it is so far away from the fifth wheel, there's, it's not gonna interfere with any trailer. So that's totally fine. And I was looking at, cause I was thinking, and people said like, oh, you need to mount a winch up here so that you can load, you know, trucks and dead stuff on that trailer. And it'd be nice, but I also needed my headboard. So the headboard won the battle of between the winch or headboard. But I started looking at this and I'm like, wait a minute, I could probably build a winch mount that hooks to this bracket. And then when I take that off, I could set that winch in there hook it up to those hydraulics or battery powered, whatever. Even a Harbor Freight Apex would work great for just dragging trucks and stuff onto that trailer. I've done it before with them. So I could probably build a winch mount that uses this right here. And then I, I'd have the best of both worlds. I'd have a winch and I'd have a headboard. And when that is attached, the winch comes off, which is fine because I've got two 30,000 pound winches here. So here's the unit freestanding, ready to go. I still 100% need to get a new toolbox here. This one is totally just falling apart. Harbor Freight has a 26 or 27 inch one that's like that same size I wanna get for this because it only has one row of split drawers or this one has three, which means that's a lot of weight in there with no support bouncing down the road. I think the single one like Harbor Freight has to do a lot better because these drawers are no issue at all. It's the split ones. So yeah, there's the unit totally disconnected and ready to go so at 11 minutes and 30 seconds i would bet one just getting a routine down as i do it more and more and two making it so those legs stay mounted on there at all times would bring that down to 10 minutes like i originally thought it would be like i said those legs eventually are gonna you just pull the pin slide them in one notch put the pin back in and they're gonna sit inboard of this and in uh that gap will essentially be right here because this will get moved back and be a different box. So once that happens and I get a little quicker at it, like routine wise, 10 minutes, I think no problem at all. And you're 
from a heavy wrecker to a fifth wheel into anything. Not too shabby. Doesn't the headboard make a whole lot more sense now? All the room in the world up here. Get everything you need. Okay, fast forward to 13 minutes and 23 seconds later. And the whole thing is back on, 100% ready to go towing other than shutting the doors. Air, electrical, hydraulic, all the front pins, outriggers up, uh, rear brackets tight. It is 100% fully operational. 13 minutes and 30 seconds. And again, I think I can speed that up as well once not messing with these. So I, I, I think it's gonna be 10 minutes off, 10 minutes on, no big deal at all. I know guys who take that long to swap out normal trailers, so I'm very happy with that. We'll see you next time.